Hello friends, in this video I will cover normal bladder innervations and in next video we will discuss clinical application of this topic that is neurogenic bladder. So this is the image of normal innervations of bladder. I have tried to simplify it. It consists of three nerves, hypogastric nerve, pudendal nerve and pelvic nerve. First of all hypogastric nerve which is sympathetic nerve. It arises from L1 L2 segment of spinal cord. It innervates detrusor muscle and internal sphincter. The next is pelvic nerve which is parasympathetic nerve. It also innervates detrusor muscle and internal sphincter. The last is pudendal nerve which is somatic in nature. It is the only nerve which innervates external sphincter. The functions of all nerves are discussed in later slides. This is normal micturation reflex. As you can see, efferent is by all three nerves that is pelvic, pudendal and hypogastric nerve and efferent is only by pelvic nerve. So in micturation reflex only efferent is pelvic nerve. In this table I have summarized the functions of all three nerves. First of all hypogastric nerve as I told it is sympathetic in nature. Its action is it is motor to internal sphincter and inhibitory to detrusor that is it basically holds urine. Next is pelvic nerve which is parasympathetic nerve. It is motor to detrusor and inhibitory to internal sphincter. It has main role in micturition and it is only efferent in micturition reflex. And last is pudendal nerve which is somatic in nature. It is only fiber which innervates external sphincter and it is under voluntary control. So during micturition this nerve is inhibited causing relaxation of external sphincter and voiding of urine occurs. This image shows how micturation reflex is controlled by higher centers. First of all, signals from lower end of spinal cord will go to periaqueductal gray which is at the level of midbrain. From PAG, signals simultaneously go to prefrontal cortex and pontine micturation center which is also known as Barrington's nucleus. Prefrontal cortex will decide time and place for micturation. If time and place is proper, it will send signal to PAG which will again send signal to pontine micturation center and micturation can occur. From pontine micturation center, signal goes through descending excitatory projections to pelvic nerve and as I discussed, pelvic nerve is only efferent in micturation reflex, stimulation of pelvic nerve will cause micturation. So this was the normal bladder innervations and micturation reflex. In next video, we will cover neurogenic bladder.